Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Titanium Corporation. We'll present about sinister mechanical properties and its structure. Before we go to the actual point, let me introduce myself as a developer. My name is Ahmad Faisal bin Kamaruddin and my architect designers are Abdul Haq bin Zabri, Noor Nabila Binti Rosli, Muhammad Andi Fami bin Azmi and Savatini Ahnaq Pupan Selvaraju. As you know, the Petronas Tower began construction in 1993 and formally opened on 1st August 1999. There are the tallest buildings in the world for 6 years until Taipei 101 was completed in 2004. Now in this year of 2022, it became the second tallest in Malaysia after Merdeka 118 was constructed in 2021. Meanwhile, we're going to study the mechanical properties and its structure for T16L stainless steel in order to enhance the quality of T16L SS for the greater good, which the method that we use to construct the twin towers. Next, I will hand it to one of my employees to talk about his part. The objective of this report is first to study the properties and characteristics of T16L SS. Next, to observe the strength steel relationship. Next, to study the basis of textile testing. Next, to identify the standard procedure for performing textile testing. Next, the observe and compare of any microstructure change of the sample between the original and core roll T16L SS before and after being in trading. Next, to compare and construct the textile properties of original and core roll T16L SS. For the problem statement is, there are many methods to predict failure in stainless steel structure, but sometimes as it didn't happen, and it might endanger life. The need for an assessment method for cracked stainless steel is important because of the structural engineering is becoming increasingly important for safe operation and maintenance. Hi, my name is Shabedani Sagaraju. Here, I'm going to show you all our technical findings. For the graph 1, we have shown you the original sample, 316 LSS. Okay, there are 5 parameters in this graph, which is elastic modulus. The value for elastic modulus is 234250, while the value for yield strain is 0 0.0031. The value for yield strength is 257.675. The value for tensile strength is 565.238. Lastly, the value for ductility is 22.12. Okay, this is our second graph which is whole road sample. For this graph, we have five parameters. First, elastic modulus. The value for elastic modulus is 214994. The value for yield strength is 0 0.0063. Then the value for yield strength is 1354.46. Then the value for tensile strength is 984. Lastly, the value for ductility is 1.96. Okay, as you can see here, there are two graphs on your left hand side. Graph 1 is original sample, while graph 2 is cold road sample. Okay, so let's have a look of the comparison between these two graphs. For the elastic modulus, the value of graph 1 is more than graph 2. While the ductility, the value for graph 1 is more than graph 2. If you look at the yield strength, the value for graph 1 lower than graph 2. Lastly, the value for tensile strength for graph 1 is less than graph 2. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Abdul Habib Damri. So today I will be explaining about the relationship between microstructure and the mechanical properties. So for the first one, microstructure is the very small scale structure of a material defined as the structure of a prepaid surface of material as revealed by an optical microscopic above 25 times magnification. For the next one, microstructure that has more dark spot at the fracture surface morphology give more ductility than microstructure that has less dark spot at the fracture surface morphology. For the last one, microstructure that has smaller size of grain has higher yield strength than microstructure that has bigger grain. Allow me to introduce myself first. I, Nunavila Binti Rosli, holding the position of Senior Project Planning Management in Titanium Corporation. So, after all the approaches given improving the characteristic between 316 stainless steel and 316 l stainless steel in terms of graph, calculation, discussion and others, the suggestion for strategies to improve or modify the mechanical properties of 316 l stainless steel for structural application related to Petronas Twin Tower is seek and discuss for a future reference in building a tower or any construction needed. So, for the suggestion, there is three ways that we provide. First is possible treatment, which is we provide in false rising process and ion nitrogen. The second is microstructure tailoring, 
we suggest to use Selective Laser Melting SLM or Peeling Friction Stir Welting FFSW. And the last one, possible alloying, we use alloying by adding the nickel. So, for the conclusion, we can conclude that we are able to determine the effect when one of the stainless steel go through coal deformation. And it can help in producing a quality product by knowing and studying certain functions such as structure, properties, process and performance. Besides, with the coal working, the hardness and the tensile strength of the sample increase due to higher density of the dislocation in the material structure. All the information given can be used as reference, same goes to the suggestion made to enhance or modify the mechanical properties of Q1CL stainless steel for structural application for the future planning in constructing a better tower or building in the future. And last but not least, we have discussed that coal rolled Q1CL stainless steel is better than the original stainless steel in terms of the microstructure, real strength, tensile strength and gut steel. That's all from Titanium Corporation. Thank you.